Hello everybody, this is Oli from the Art School of SFA, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to draw characters. Alright, let's get started. In the first part of my lesson, I'm going to focus on silhouettes. Silhouettes are a great way to project your character without really adding any details on the inside. They're meant to be quick sketches, you're not supposed to spend more than two or three minutes on each one. They're supposed to be very small because you're not adding any details on the inside. Um, and uh, one of the advantages of having a silhouette is, uh, one of the well, interesting parts of the silhouette is that our brains can actually tell what they're looking at based on the silhouette alone. You can probably tell uh, the girl who uh, is walking her dog on a windy day, you can probably tell where the cowboy is reaching for his gun, and the little baby who just learned how to wave. Um, and I haven't added anything on the inside, and your brain can still tell you which one is which. Not all silhouettes work out. Uh, these are meant to be candidates, uh, and they allow you to brainstorm quickly, but a lot of times you might put down an idea that doesn't work. In the next part of our lesson, I'm going to show you guys how to draw characters based on simple shapes. Now, combining two uh, ellipses and adding uh, lines of symmetry and um, a line for the eyes and um, another line that shows where the torso and the bottom part of the body you meet is uh, a very good way to draw characters. I add a circle and some legs. I add a head on top. Uh, this torso is just a circle. Uh, I add a scarf and some uh, a warm hat and some buttons. And uh, over here, I'm just going to make a round shape. Add a circle on top. Um, I add a line of symmetry. I try to keep the line of symmetry as long as I can. And I give the kitty a poopy tail. Most characters that are based on cats have really uh, poopy tails. Okay, over here for the, my uh, former bunny, I'm going to start off with this uh, next shape uh, ellipse. And then I'm going to add a head, uh, two pointy ears. At the hand, I didn't really like, so I kind of move, uh, move it around. And then I'm going to give it a carrot. Um, in his right hand. I also tear up his pocket a little bit uh, just to make uh, things look a little bit interesting. The next step, we're going to learn how to draw heads. For heads, I add, uh, I start off with a circle and then I add a jawline. After that, I add two lines. One is a line of symmetry and the next one is the eye line. You can also draw characters by adding two ellipses, as you can see on the very top. Once I'm done at drawing the head, I add a face using the line of symmetry and the eye line. Remember, if you draw an eye line, that means the eyes need to go on it. Don't draw the eye line and then draw the eyes above or below. They need to go on it because your eyes need to look like they are on the same, uh, they fall on the same line. As I'm drawing these faces, I try to think of interesting characteristics that these people might have, um, just to keep uh, you know my creative juices flowing. If a character has really large eyes, I tend to draw the eyes first, but uh, most of the time I'll start off with the nose and then the mouth and then the eyes. Um, I don't like doing the eyes first because um, I like drawing the nose first and then drawing the eyes around it because uh, your nose and eyes uh, really do work together and your eyes, uh, the way your eyes look is really influenced by uh, your nose. Okay, that looks like something out of Captain Underpants, but that's okay. 
I'm going to keep adding more and more faces, and you can kind of see how I'm using the line symmetry and um, adding simple shapes and then um, adding details to the simple shapes to make my character more detailed and also seem more interesting. You can also use your understanding of traditional facial anatomy to help you draw um, characters, so they don't all need to be very simple um, elliptical uh, face shapes. You can actually use char uh, character heads that are um, kind of an exaggerated version of a real head. Once I'm done drawing my heads, I go back to uh, erasing my line symmetry uh, and then making my lines darker. Uh, one of the things you want to do is when you're drawing your characters, please make sure you don't draw using dark lines because that means that you're committing to that line. And a lot of lines that you start off with, such as the line of symmetry and the eye line, those are not a visual part of your drawing. They're meant to be erased later on, and if you draw them too dark, guess what? They're going to stay for the right, and that's not a good thing. So the lines that are meant to help you with constructing your character um, are not meant to stay till the very end, so make sure you erase them. Okay, so I picked a head and a silhouette, and now I'm going to draw a character based on the silhouette. First thing I do is I put down a basic anatomical figure, and then I add clothes on top of it. I don't really focus on the folds or any details, but I do use my understanding of anatomy to help me, uh, help me here. Now, uh, I do recommend that I uh, use a reference for, um, for this part because not anatomy is something that uh, you do want to use a reference. All right, so um, as you can see, I continue refining my um, drawing. Now, um, I will give you guys a few more examples of the approach I use. Uh, so what I do is I start off with the torso. Um, I divide the torso into two parts and I add a pelvis underneath. Um, after that, I add a head and two legs. Um, and then the shell kind of serves um, to help me with the anatomy. I'm going to come up with a color palette here uh, to help me color my character. Um, I choose yellow and blue because I feel like yellow and blue work really well together. Um, I add some color to the pug um, that she's walking. Um, I chose pink for her hair because um, one of the things character design allows you to do is you can be ambitious with your color choices. Um, and then um, in order to make her um, jacket seem more vibrant, I chose white uh, for her pants because um, um, I felt like that color worked well with um, the color for her jacket. Um, I keep refining my line art here as well. So I'll add more line art, uh, not line art, I add more, I had refined the line art for my contours. Uh, a little bit to make my character seem more defined. Um, and that's it. Um, here's my character that I worked on. So thank you.